In Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2018, Microsoft introduced ways for business users to export reports, including financial statements, uh, directly to Excel where they can be reviewed and, ex and refreshed. Uh, you can see here in the uh, Business Manager Role Center that I have an option up at the top, top to see Excel reports. Clicking on this gives me a list of commonly used Excel reports for this particular role center. Uh, in this case, let's say that I want to take a look at an income statement. I can click income statement, and this is going to open the Excel file directly in Excel itself. I'll go ahead and enable content. Uh, Office 365 authentication does need to be set up with an AV 2018 in order for this to work. Uh, as you'll see here, I now have the ability to come in and see the account schedule that has been set up. I have a pane over in Excel for Microsoft Dynamics, and I can also apply filters. If I wanted to apply a filter for date, I can come in, change the date filter, and type in, say, 12-31-2018, and then I can click Done. Once I've done this, I can refresh, and it will go directly to Dynamics NAV 2018 and refresh the numbers, as you see over here on the left. The account schedule uh, by default isn't set up to work well with the NAV accounts, and so I went and changed a few of the accounts just so we'd have some data to display. Uh, as you can see, what it's doing is it's going in uh, using a query to grab the data and then put the data into uh, an Excel table. One thing I wanted to do is uh, compare and contrast that a bit with some of the reports that come out of the box with uh, Jet Professional. If I open up a Jet Professional report, we see an income statement by month uh, that is built to run against the exact same database. Uh, the numbers are going to show for all of my revenue and cost accounts. Uh, I can come up to the Excel add-in up at the top. I can click Refresh. I can change the date that I'd like to run this report for, and then the report will go directly into the database and refresh all of the numbers automatically. I also see uh, included here is an income statement dashboard uh, is an example of more information that we ship directly out of the box. One thing that uh, is, in is included in Jet Professional as well is the ability to drill down directly in to the NAV client itself to look at the transactional detail, which is something that isn't available in the Excel reports that ship with NAV 2018. I can come in here, I can click the drill down button, and what this will do is open an instance of the NAV 2018 role tailored client and open up the uh, transaction detail for all of the numbers that make up that $290,000 uh, that I saw in Excel just a few minutes ago. I hope that this video has served as a uh, good introduction to the Excel reports available in NAV 2018, as well as some of the features and functionality using JetReports Professional to report directly out of NAV.